Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Amy. And this is our dog, Jagger. We left our beautiful home in Maui and built ourselves a home on wheels. And now we would like to invite you to join us as we drive from California to Panama. Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we left our home in Maui and arrived in California where we purchased the truck we plan to drive to Panama. All right, we're leaving Santa Cruz, headed for Ojai, California. It's gonna be 294 miles and our first long drive with the new truck. So, fingers crossed. What's up in through the crowd? They can hear that sound. But you... What do you think, Judge? Is it going the right way? We're about halfway on our drive from Santa Cruz to Ojai, California, and we're stopping here at the Firestone Brewery uh, for a beer and some pizza. And uh, we're just a little north of San Luis Obispo, right off of Highway 101. First fill up with the Blue Beauty. Let's see how thirsty she is. There she is. We were happy to make it to Ojai without any car problems and to see my parents, but we had a lot of work to do to get ready for our big trip and we were feeling crunched for time. We planned to meet my family during their annual trip to Southern Baja in a month and a half, and we wanted to give ourselves as much time as we could to explore Northern Baja before then. Plus, the United States is a really expensive country, and the longer we took to prepare for the trip, the less money we were going to have for the trip itself. So we made ourselves a to-do list. I need to do lots of vehicle maintenance, set up a solar system, and exchange the bench seat for a bucket seat and more storage in the cab. But the big project was going to be building our own camper and turning our truck into a home on wheels. I was focused on finding us the best options for health and car insurance, and trying to find the most compact or reliable versions of all the things we needed so that our new home on wheels would have a bed, a kitchen, and maybe even be somewhat comfortable. We were also very new to this whole video thing, and we knew we needed to make better videos, so we decided we needed a GoPro and various gadgets that we knew nothing about yet. All right, today I am going to attempt to replace my outer CV joint boot. Um, truck came with a ripped one. Right there, grease is getting splattered all over everything. So, gonna try to replace that. I've never done that one before, so that'll be interesting. All right, we're off to a pretty bad start. Uh, pretty basic first step is gonna be taking off the uh, tire and rim here. And the lug nuts are just totally seized on. Um, I got the first one to come loose by using a little piece of tubing that's sitting around and uh, I got a socket because it had a tighter fit than the stock lug wrench that it comes with um, and I didn't want to strip the lugs so I was using this thing and when I got to the second lug nut I don't know if you can see there but when I torqued on it I just put this big crack through the socket So that thing's trash. And those lug nuts are really seized on there. Okay, I finally got those lug nuts broken loose. Um, took a few tries. Just a series of hitting it with penetrating oil, uh, tapping it with a hammer, and using a big cross lug nut wrench. Um, since that was such a pain in the butt, I decided to go ahead and do the other side. Um, hopefully having us avoid this issue while we're out on a trail somewhere. Alright, 
moving on. We're here at a mall between Ventura and Oxnard in California, and we're checking out the container store in REI to get some inspiration and ideas for our tiny truck living. See if they'll nest together. Okay, so we are very excited because we're at least going to get probably these two pots. And then... Well, it does look like we can nest six pots. They're bowls. Or bowls. <laughs> six bowls. Uh, and we would just have to have all of our extra lids, which... So far, this is about the most space-saving thing I've seen, and this will be our both of our bowls, and then we would have a bunch of tubware containers, six tubware containers. It's awesome. All stainless steel, and they say that they're uh, leak-proof. I'm excited. We've had a very long day of shopping, trying to acquire things for our camp kitchen and stuff for basic truck maintenance for this big trip we're planning and we're taking a little break to play with Jagger it's hard to find a beach that you won't get in trouble in California for letting your dog off leash we found a nice little piece of sand let's see what's underneath this We uncovered a little bit of damage here. Finding out that our truck bed was cracked in several places was surprising and discouraging since it meant that we had more projects and we were going to take up more time. Lucky for us, my brother's a skilled welder and agreed to help us out as long as I did the prep work so it didn't set us back too much. We finally get to open up our Snowmaster fridge freezer unit. I'm really excited to check it out. Uh, should be pretty awesome. Yay! <laughs> there she is. Ooh. Got the uh, included travel case. Looks like some solid latches right there. Comes with the baskets, that's standard. And then the larger side over here. And that's a solid wall in between the two sides, so they're completely independent. And from what we understand, both sides can operate as a fridge or a freezer. are starting to get lots and lots of boxes and my Amazon cart right now already has like 51 items that have been ordered and are supposed to ship so starting not to really even know what is going to show up. Alright so got a good old fashioned camera tripod. What do you think's in there Amy? My guess is gonna be our table for camping. Cause it really wasn't heavy, it was just awkward size. Can you camp? Yep, this is the camping table. It was just a huge box. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, in this one. Um, I'm gonna say it's our camping stove. Paper. Yay! Oh look, it's a toilet! Our toilet. Outdoor oh, potty! So oh yeah! Woohoo! Take oh, a yeah. seat, Matt! Sit out! 
That's nice. Yeah? Yeah, good height. <laughs> Picture the view, beautiful. <laughs> All right, what else do we got in here? I think this Coming in for a close up. Oh, it's our waterproof action camera light. So at night, we'll have a light for shooting video as well as underwater. Oh, okay, get good focus. <laughs> Uh, some more of those RAM mounts. This is like the little claw suction cup thing. Um, chargers. So this is a battery charger and batteries for my GoPro. Toilet deodorant? Oh, that just comes with the poop. The poop thing. They just give you those as samples. There's your time lapser. And I got You're this cool that. thing that you put on a tripod or a table, and it does a 360 degree time lapse. And our camp stove. Our camp stove. And it's Camp Chef That's Everest that. model. Supposed to get super hot, but still have low control, so simmering is possible. It's gonna be awesome. It's so gonna be so awesome. It's good for camping, outdoors, hunting, fishing, tailgating, cabin river, scouting. Is there um, <laughs> 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 slash live in your truck for years on end while traveling? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Emergency preparedness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pretty much sitting on Amazon reading reviews of everything from Moleskin for our first aid kit to more microphone stuff. So yeah, still trying to figure that out and I live in this chair and on Amazon. Our Bill Stein replacement shocks showed up in the mail today. bucket seats and a high-rise camper shell since before we left Santa Cruz. I had been calling all of the junkyards within the entire state of California without any luck. Since these trucks were not very popular when they were new, there are not a whole lot of body parts out there for them now. We were considering shipping a seat in from out of state for way too much money. When my brother called and said that his friend was taking the driver's seat out of a Toyota pickup truck and that we could have it in exchange for a six pack of beer. We figured it was our best option and used some scrap metal to rig up brackets and make it work. Now what we really needed to do was find a camper shell so we could get going on the camper modifications. In searching for a T100 camper shell, I was told an early model Tundra shell would fit close enough. So when one came up on Craigslist for 100 bucks, I figured it was worth the risk. But we'd have to go down to LA to pick it up, and our truck was currently on blocks and in pieces for a variety of projects. Fortunately for us, my dad offered to drive me down there and use his utility trailer to pick it up. We would just have to hope that it fit on the truck when we got it home. Next time. On the Traveling Together Journal, we dive headfirst into our camper build.